Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Magania. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician at UC Davis, and I'm a part of PACES. We have created these just-in-time videos for you, the bedside provider, so that you have access to the same pro tips, tools, resources, tricks of the trades that we have at UC Davis. Today, we're going to talk about optimizing albuterol administration, two routes, MDI and the MedNeb. Now, the first principle we need to understand is that albuterol, like most respiratory medications, only works if it makes it to the lungs. It doesn't work if it's just in the mouth or if it's in the rest of the emergency department. I know that is super basic, but that is going to be the driving principle for how we administer these medications. Now, personally, I prefer a meter dose inhaler or an MDI. Even people who can't suck on a straw or put their lips fully around the chamber can use an MDI if the chamber has a face mask attached to it. MDIs are quicker and deliver the medications even better if it's used right, but you have to use a chamber. Now, when I approach the families and the kids, because most of them are going to be a little bit older, I want to engage the kids, let them know what I'm doing, and teach them how to use it. That's the beauty of the MDI, is you can take that home with you and be able to use it that night. So I'm going to let them know what I'm doing each step of the way. First off, take off the cap, obviously. Shake the MDI 10 to 15 times approximately. Insert the MDI into the chamber and have the patient breathe out. Push down once for one puff and have them take a nice, slow, deep breath. If you hear a horn-like sound, they're breathing too fast. And then count to 10, because that 10 seconds is what it takes for the medicine to really get in there. And then repeat. Now, remember with the MDIs that each actuation is only 90 micrograms. So if we want to give 2.5 or 5 milligrams, we're going to have to give a lot of puffs. So for kids that are 5 to 15 kilograms, we recommend using 6 puffs. And for those that are more than 15 kilograms, using 12 puffs of albuterol. That may feel like a lot, but that is appropriate dosing for those ages and for those sizes. Okay, that's the MDI. Let's talk about a med neb or a medication nebulizer. This is when we're going to insert the medication into the canister and then attach the tubing to the oxygen. You want to turn that up to about 10 to 15 liters to really push that air through and nebulize or make those little particles small enough to go into the lungs. And now we want the mask to fit onto the child's face just right. We want Goldilocks principle here. It should go up around the nose and the mouth, but not be up and over the eyes and not be hanging down around the neck. If it's at the eyes or at the neck, it's too big and you're going to be losing too much medication into the room. You also want to help that parent help that child. So I oftentimes sit these kiddos into the parent's laps so that they can hug them, reassure them, help to keep the medicine in place, help to keep the med neb in place. That's going to be important to actually get the medicine in. And I would recommend that you watch our Positions of Comfort Just-In-Time video to get some tips on how to properly position that child with the parent. Okay, that's what we should do. What we should not do is blow by. Just giving medicine from the end of the mask tubing is not helpful. Putting, inserting a little cup at the end of the mask tubing and having it go into the room, that is also not helpful. Virtually no medication makes it to where we want it, the lungs, when we use these methods. The other thing that we should be doing very rarely is using albuterol in children less than two years of age. If you hear a wheeze in a child that's less than two years of age, it's more likely to be bronchiolitis, wheeze associated with a respiratory illness, maybe even a foreign body. So if you're giving albuterol to a child less than two years of age, just stop and think, why am I giving this and what's going on? Because that's going to be a rare situation. All right, that's it. Albuterol administration optimized in kids. I hope that this was helpful and thanks for watching.